Good day. Welcome to another Alphatron Electronics how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up multiple cameras on our IP controller. So you'll see in front of me I've already got set up our IP controller and two of our 30x and 20x SDIC cameras. You'll also see everything is connected by a single LAN cable and these connections are connected to a little small 8-port PoE uh, network switch. It's an unmanaged switch so you don't need to, to worry about setting anything up on the switch. I have already pre-set up uh, all the cameras, or both cameras, uh, to the individual IPs. If you need to know more uh, about how to set up our IPs on our cameras, please check out the links below for that video. So to get started, our IP controller you will see is defaulted to uh, 192.168.5.101. And what I've configured for the two cameras is I've put the camera on my left hand side here to dot one six two and this camera is dot one six three so that's the individual network ips so first things first if i would want to change my ip address on my controller i can basically hit my setup button where all other setup features of the of the controller is located and i can navigate down until i see ip static so once i see ip static i can hit enter and that will make me or well, that will allow me to change my ip address i can also go one click to the right on my, on my joystick to scroll scroll past and I can now put the controller into DHCP mode. I'm going to go back to static so that we can set a static IP and I'm going to keep it in the same range but just for practical uh, application I'm going to make this uh, .161 so this is my first IP address. Uh, you'll see now I've entered the third network segment here. If I now enter 161 you'll see that it completely messes up my, my IP uh, settings. So I can just tab back, go back to that uh, third segment, make sure that it's just dot five. I can then also just scroll across and now I can make that dot one six one. I hit enter, it'll ask me for my subnet, which is two five five two five five two five five zero. I hit enter again and it'll ask me for a gateway. I can leave the uh, I can't leave the gateway open, sorry. I have to enter a gateway and we will basically just make that uh, dot one you see i made the mistake again dot one and enter and there we go now you'll see the system will reboot and once it's rebooted it'll show me the new ip address at the top of the screen it'll also show me a little exclamation mark for uh, a moment and once the exclamation mark disappears it should show me on uh, at the bottom and the ip address at the top once i see on that means the the controller has completely rebooted into its booted, booted up state okay for our application, we're going to be looking at setting up the camera into IP Visca mode. We have different modes for the for the controllers and for the cameras, which, which includes Visca, uh, Onviv, as you can see on the screen, as well as Palco P or Palco D, uh, which is just referred to as Palco Control. So to change the, the controller to IP Visca, I'm going to hit Setup again. I'm going to scroll down to menu number five, and you'll see it reads IP Visca. Now that tells me that if I hit Enter, the controller will be set to IP Visco mode. So I hit enter, it will go back to the main screen uh, out of the menu system and my system is now in IP Visco mode. From here, it's pretty simple. I need to now tell the controller what IP addresses my cameras are and I need to tell the controller which camera is which, which uh, camera, camera one or camera two. So in this case, I press IP and this will now allow me to punch in the IP address of the cameras. Now, all our systems are 192.168.5, a uh, range for the default from, from the factory. And my individual IP address, like I mentioned, is .162 and .163. So I'm going to make this my camera 1.162. I hit enter. Now it's going to ask me for the UDP port number of the IP Visco control. And our default control port is 1259. I hit enter again and now it asks me which camera number this is. I'm going to make this camera one and I hit enter. It tells me tip succeeded and there we go. I can now press camera one on my uh, quick shortcut key there. And when I then move my joystick, my camera is being controlled by the IP controller. Now there's a couple of other features here that the, that the controller will allow you to do. So once I have control over the camera, I can now also hit home and it will just bring the, control, the camera back into its, its home position. Well, let's put on the second camera. So again, I'm gonna press IP. 
I'm going to punch in my address 192.168.5. I'm going to tab over again, scroll over to the last network segment, that'll be .163. Enter. I have my default port 1259. Enter. And my camera is camera number two. And enter. And again, tip succeeded. When I press cam two, I can now control camera number two. Now I'll adjust this camera a little bit so you can just see down the lens. And so the, the joystick on the right hand side here allows you your up, down, left, right movements or your pan and tilt movements of the camera, as well as I can turn the, the controller to adjust my zoom, either to tele so that it zooms the camera into maximum or to the left hand side wide to zoom it out to its maximum output out zoom or its widest zoom. Again, I can now hit my home button and it'll bring my camera back to, to its home position. Um, in addition, I can also use the little tab button on the, on the left hand side here also for my zoom so I can tele or wide my zoom on there or on the controller here. In terms of a couple of the other buttons at the top here, I can also adjust my focus point uh, for my camera. I can take it out of autofocus mode. If you see any of these buttons not highlighted, it means it's in auto mode. I can now adjust for camera two, which I still have selected, adjust my focus to far or bring it back to near and that will adjust my focus. But if I need to uh, go back to, to the auto focus mode, I can just click the button after it's illuminated because I've adjusted the, the control and it will bring the, the camera back into autofocus mode. Similarly for my aperture or my iris of the camera, I can adjust my, my iris there smaller or larger or close and open as they call it. And again, once the button's illuminated, it means I've made an adjustment to that setting. And if I want to go back to auto mode, I can just hit auto again. Similarly, on the right hand side here, I can adjust my red gain and my blue gain of my camera. So I can add red to the camera, uh, camera's output color, or I can remove some red. Again, my WBC button here, my white, white balance um, control button, illuminates once I've made any changes to those two controls. If I hit it and de-illuminate the button, it takes it back to uh, the default uh, state, which is auto. The last button here on the right hand side, that's my PTZ speed controller. So I can now adjust my camera speed. You'll see this, this is set to eight at the moment, which is the fastest speed that the camera will, will move at. If I adjust this lower and I go down to speed setting one, this will be the slowest that the camera can move. And you'll see the camera moves very, very slowly at this point. If I want to take it back to full speed, I adjust it back there and I can have full speed control over the camera again. Again, if I want to come back to the home, position, I can just hit the home button on the camera or on the controller. Uh, one or two other features here. The controller also allows you to display the on-screen display of the camera. So again, I can hit the on-screen display button. I will then see the on-screen display of the camera's menu system uh, on my image. And I can again then use my up, down, left, right keys here and enter and escape and the OS button to navigate through the on-screen display menu. One last thing that we can, can look at quickly is to set up presets on the controller. So I can select uh, a camera one in this case. I can then move my camera to a position that I want to, to adjust it. And I'll adjust it there. And I'm also going to add some, some zoom to the lens. And what I can do now is I can hit the preset button and it will ask me to set preset. Now I can set preset one and enter. And it's now stored that preset. I can now adjust my camera to a second position and I can adjust my zoom to a second position. I can hit preset and hit two and that will now store a second preset. Hit enter. And now if I would like to, I can take it back to home position. I can now press call one and that will recall preset number one. And there you go. The camera recalls that preset and you'll see the, the lens move in the, in the center as well. And I can then go call preset two and Again, it will call preset two and move the camera. Well, there you go. That in a nutshell is how to set up the cameras um, onto the controller and how to, to use some of the basic functions of the controller. If you have any, any other questions, you're welcome to get in contact with us through our website at alphatronelectronics.com. Um, thank you for joining us. 
please hit the subscribe button. We'll be posting a lot more of these videos in the future. And uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.